Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Mungades Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This uh, reading is about his and her feelings. Um, and this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. This is about you and your love interest. Whether you are a man or a woman, this deck will be your energy and your side of the conversation with the tarot and the other one is your person's energy and their side of the conversation so let's see what is happening in this love situation soulmate twin flame anyone you can't get a, out of your mind who you have romantic feelings for you are the phoenix, the survivor. So Virgo, it does look like that you finished the cycle, started a brand new one. You went through some hardship, could be in all parts of your life or in love. And uh, you got up and uh, flying again. So you literally reinvented yourself. You pulled yourself back up um, by your socks and you are shining bright and flying high. Fantastic. Okay, now let's see your person's energy. How they show up today with you. Butterfly transformation. Get ready for a big breakthrough. So your person is putting work into themselves. They are doing something, some healing on themselves, uh, maybe um, I am getting uh, some of them are doing some course to change uh, paths. Some of them are doing further education. Some of them are doing spiritual healing on themselves uh, or went to therapy so lot, lots of different things could show up in their life this transformation can show up in lots of different ways in their life so let's see what they want to tell you how they start this conversation with you okay so we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Wands. So what I feel with this is that they are not single. So they are in a, in a connection, in a relationship, in a marriage even. Um, they didn't tell you everything. So they, you don't know the full story about them. And uh, the Page of Wands is showing that that's a messenger of some kind of passionate new beginning um it interestingly it shows up as it could be their spiritual journey uh, so yeah it needs we need more information about them but first of all let's see what is your response to this opening statement We've got the Judgment, Three of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. So you are saying that you have been working on yourself. You grew a lot. And um, you are following your passion right now. So... You're definitely not focusing on them. And they say, Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Four of Wands. That um, although they may be hiding from you or blocking you or protecting themselves from you right now they believe that you are everything they wanted and you tick all, the, all their boxes and they want to take things to the next level with you 
and you say you could be dealing with the Scorpio and Aquarius. Sorry, let me just see the story. The Fool, the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So you say... You took a leap of faith in the past towards your person at least once. And uh, it's too hard work. It's like you are carrying the entire connection on the weight of it on your shoulders. And you don't know anymore what to think about this. And they say, Tower, King of Pentacles reversed and the High Priestess. So they say that you left them, you broke up with them because they are not um, available and you were just following your own path. You are the high priestess here. They are the king of pentacles reversed, uh, which is fair enough. If they are not available, then why would you hang around, right? So you say five of pentacles, page of swords, eight of pentacles. So you are saying, actually, you feel like they left you out in the cold. Uh, what is that expression? Uh, left you hanging and dry. These words are coming through. I don't, I don't know how to make sense of that uh, with the expression, but the key is that because you don't know the answer, you are focusing on work, you are kind of keeping an eye on them, but you feel that they literally abandoned you before you broke up with them. That, that was your response. Not You weren't starting the problem. <laughs> it was your response to their behavior towards you. And now they say, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So they are saying that, yeah, this is tiring. They agree with you that it's hard work. But they believe it, it can be a long-term, or it is a long-term connection. And um, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So they see some kind of cont compatibility here with you. And you say Page of Cups, Strength, and the Eight of Cups. You, you say, well, you know, I don't want to be on bad terms with you. Um, I'm very happy to have a peace treaty here with you, um, but I am strong enough to move on uh, from you. And that's what I am planning to do because you are not available. You don't want to be available. So I'm not going to hang around, but um, yeah, let's um, talk. Let's accept what the facts are and that's that and they say king of cups but i do love you eight of pentacles i am putting uh, my attention on work and uh, five of pentacles i feel like uh, it's very cold without you too and you say there is the moon the ace of pentacles and the page of wands. So you both have the page of wands. So you say you looked into you, your emotions, your feelings deeply. Um, right now, you don't have anything to offer. You are focusing on your pentacles. You are really uh, keen to move forward in your work. 
um, in the physical world to to create some uh, financial stability or improve on your financial stability and um, follow your passion. So um, I feel you both both are walking the spiritual path to different degrees and um, you are already the phoenix so you went to hell and back a few times they are the butterfly they are kind of transitioning transforming which is a serious thing but they are not the phoenix yet so they are starting a new chapter, but not a new cycle like you, you did in your own spiritual uh, journey. And um, so they say the chariot, the star and the three of swords. So literally they are so drawn to you because you feel like their person. And they are broken hearted that you are moving on from them. <laughs> You've got the star too. The Hierophant and the King of Cups. How interesting. So both of you have romantic love towards each other. Both of you are hiding it away. Your person is because they are not available. You because um, of they are not available. And you are focusing on your um, pentacles right now. Um, you are also very committed to your spiritual journey and healing. And um, some of you to become a star. To become a celebrity in your own right. In your own area whatever that means to you and um, the the hierophant is, is higher learning also so this feels quite sad in a sense that you both feel miserable in a sense without each other's warmth and love but because your person is not committing to you, they are still with someone else, you are choosing to focus on your own work and money and uh, whatever your mission is. Because they are not available. Okay, let's see who you could be dealing with. So we've got Cancer. Um, twice and then we have Scorpio Leo twice no Leo once uh, Pisces Aquarius Taurus these are what's showing up Aquarius is twice wow this is amazing. So let's ask the Island Time Wellness Oracle. Before that, I am asked to do the bottom of the deck. Yeah, your person is healing. Four of Swords, transformation, healing. They are definitely working on your on themselves. And you have the Ace of Swords, the clarity, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. <laughs> Okay, and the Two of Cups. <laughs> wow. Okay, so on your side, Virgo, it shows you know it's a mutual love connection, but it's too difficult. It's too hard. It takes too much out of you. So you had to make a decision to move on from your person. Uh, you forgave them, and now you are following your passion. So this clarity came that... Um, For your own sake and um, almost like this amount of energy you needed to put into this to work 
took you away from manifesting something very important on your path, spiritually, materially, whatever. And uh, so you had to make a decision because you could not energetically uh, be there for both parts. That's the big cycle for you. Like, um, it's almost like um, you had to cut your losses. Not enough. Date, lightning, Cupid's arrow. So what I feel is your person needed to lose you to value you okay um not enough frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage yep they could have sabotaged the connection because they didn't feel enough for you meeting someone new dating get back out their plan set a date so you could have decided to go for someone who can fulfill your needs um and uh, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So for your person, this needed to absolutely happen to open their eyes, what they truly want, who they truly want. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. So... I feel, Virgo, that you could be moving forward towards someone else and planning to, if this person comes towards you, um, to have a peace treaty with them, um, to, to make things clear between the two of you. Um, there is mutual love. I feel that both of you know that, but there are lots of obstacles in the way. So what I will do is um, actually I'm going to see now where is it heading and then in the extended we go deeper into your person's intentions because um, it does feel like you are responding to them and their lack of action. So if they did choose you, you possibly would choose them. I don't know. So where is it heading towards? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Not a simple answer, okay? <laughs> Just to be clear. So this is a brand new different uh, tarot deck and very similar things are showing up here that we've seen already so where this connection is heading we've got the five of swords you both feel like it can't be it's it's just done it's lost but there is the four of ones so none of you can truly let it go because you both have feelings for each other um you both would love to take steps towards the other one, deciding what to do, trying to find the right way to make it work. But at the end of the day, it all comes down towards two things. One is commitment and the other one is spiritual development. So... What, what uh, Spirit is saying that the two of you can work towards happiness together, but just this. I feel that your person needs to decide, needs to make a decision, needs to make a commitment. So Virgo, if you feel like the only reason why the two of you are not together, because your person keeps choosing the other one, the third party, I feel there might be a chance for them at one point to choose you. 
But if you already decided that, well, I do love this person, but they are not right for me. There are so many things that um, needs to be changed. Uh, so you are not waiting for them. Then obviously your path is to have the peace uh, set between the two of you and just to keep moving on. Um, so take it how it resonates. You could be also dealing with the Pisces, a Taurus, a Leo and the Libra. You keep showing up, Queen of Pentacles, and you are strong enough to move on, um, Leo again. So Virgo, I am going to continue this on Patreon and look deeper into your person's um, intentions and and what they truly want because lots of you are already choosing someone else and they, to be honest, chose someone else at the first place not you so i would say for the majority of you this is about your person and you having a good deep conversation see things clearly from both sides and agree on um, having some peace between the two of you endings new beginnings growth change liberation transition so for many of you this is over it's just like um, making things nice between the two of you. But for some of you, the minority of you, there could be a way to make it work if they are willing to choose you. So that's what we are going to look into. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. Uh, if you wish to have a reading, coaching, healing session with me, do reach out. And um, I do appreciate you. Take care. Bye for now.